Hey, 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 how is everybody today? Pop on. I, I'm doing these pop ons mostly because um, Cassidy, <laughs> she makes it hard for me to schedule some things sometimes. So I'm doing these little pop ons um, when I can. So I thought I'd give you a quick pop on. Let me turn my iPad this way. So hopefully I can see comments because I don't have my computer. Hi, just say hi if you're here so I can see if there's comments. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Dara. Oh, bring in the camera. Girl, that camera's in as close as it can be. <laughs> I don't know why it says that on these. Can I do it this way and say comments? No. Gosh. Facebook. Hi, Michelle. How are you? I have my camera horizontal here and I have it this way. Hey, Barbara. So I'm going to be looking at iPad off to the side um, tonight. So, this is going to be kind of a quick little one. Well, not really quick, quick. But I wanted to show you something I was working on. I had to do some first before I went ahead and came on live. Hello from Texas. Hey, I hope you all survived the hurricane. You weren't in that way. So, um, hopefully you're good. Let me put the iPad here. That way I'm not looking off to the side. So, I'm going to turn the camera down. Oh, now comments are popping up there. Really? I'm going to turn the comment down. Hey, Rachel, so that you guys can see what I'm making because you can't see if you're up here. Hey, if you see the little red light off to the side, that means that we're actually live, live. Hey, Barbara. And if you hit on the other side, anywhere on the page, really, those three little white dots will pop up. Hit notifications, okay? And this is going to be back on my YouTube later. Um, so please go to my YouTube and subscribe. Please, please. Um, I have lots of videos on there. Still posting more. All right, so I'm going to turn you guys down so you can see what I'm working on. I like that little whistle that went with that. Let's see if I get it right because you know me, I'm crazy with cameras. Now, I switched camera holders. I had a, one of those Diva Light things. Hey, Katie. Hey, Janet. Hey, Barbara. Um, ones, but um, the light kept falling backwards. The camera, I was like, okay, back to the sender. So look, it's a giant ostrich egg. No, it's not. Guys, these are these paper mache eggs. Paper mache? Yeah, did I say that right? Hey, Rhonda. Hey, Linda. Um, so I'm sure I'm going to show you in some stages of them, and then so you can see what I did. Now, what I first did, it's the paper mache, and I was painting it a dark, like chocolate color espresso, but I didn't like the color of it. I thought it was too dark. So, hence magic. I went over, now this one I painted all the way up, thinking, okay, if I painted all the way up, you know, when we put the cord and stuff on it, you, you know, you would, um, it would kind of blend in. But you could see how I changed the color. Now, this color here actually comes out a little bit lighter, and it's called uh, Raw Sienna. And I bought it today because, like I said, I didn't like the chocolate eggs. Hey, Catherine. Hi, Irene. So, you can do it where... If you start with this color here, the base, and put this on the raw sienna, it, it will come in a lot lighter than what you're seeing here, okay? But you could see the difference. These are going to be acorns, so you can really make them any color you want, really. But this, to me, just looked like too much of a chocolate egg. So, we're gonna, well, I'm going to show this in stages so you can see. So, we went from here. We painted part of the egg. Now, another thing you may want to do is these kind of sit sometimes um by themselves not really that good so if you have something you can hold it in like this um if it's the smaller ones like this i have these are my paint trays and it sits in the paint tray like that um then if you have these itty bitty bitty ones look at look at all my little babies so these i made into ornaments voila and these are actually already sold. Um, so I made 10 of these little ones. These are all the paper mache ones. Um, hi. Hey, Brenda. Um, I didn't do the plastic ones because I was afraid using hot glue that it would burn or melt it, you know, kind of thing. So you could use wooden ones. It just makes it heavier. But these are the paper mache ones. I found them in Hobby Lobby. These come in a set of five. And... This was the brand of them. Is that backwards to you guys? 
hopefully not pole is isn't it yep it is because i have the camera looking at me up top there so it's paper mache they were 2.99 for five there is no serial number oh well it's up at the top here um and it says it's nine four six nine six and this was a value pack these these eggs these little babies are 2.4 inches by one and eighth and oh i forgot my hot glue gum was on okay and you get five five in a pack now if you can find them somewhere else that's fine you know you know <laughs> these guys were um bringing the camera all these bringing the cameras i don't know why they do this now sorry i'm trying to bring in the camera to you all there we go hey jean Hey, Melissa. Hey, Emma. Hey, Mila, Sue, Ann, and Barbara. Did I miss some people? Emma, Rhonda, Catherine. I think I got everybody. Yeah. So these ones here, these big ones, were actually on sale for 75 cents. Let me just say. So I snatched them all up. <laughs> and I snatched up all these. And I snatched up the two packs that I could find at these, at least at the one um Hobby Lobby. These were all from Hobby Lobby, the eggs, okay? So here's one stage of it. This has a couple of coats on it. I blue dry, blue dry, blow dry um, it in between the stages. I like it because it shows like the paint marks, not the paint marks, the paper marks like on it. So I like that. Um, you can add other details to these if you want to. So our next stage is to see it like this. And then I completed one really big one so you can see what the big one looks like. And you guys can put these in baskets, you know, bowls and stuff, like put them around your house, around your mantle, wherever you want to put them. And I just thought they'd be so cool. Hey, Sylvia. So I figured we'd start with this one here. Um, like I said, the paint comes, this I got from Michael's. Um, I don't remember how much the paint was because they were like really low on the paint. So I don't know if it was $1.49 or somewhere in the $2 range, but just to let you know, and it's called Raw Sienna, and it's folk art paint. I seal all of mine. This happens to be a matte finish. You can buy a glossy one. You can do it however you want. That is up to you. Hey, Margaret. Um, What you want? Oop, Audrey, I'm bringing in the camera. I don't know what these... I have to understand that part. Um, you could do it without a finish you want. I like the matte finish on most of my products if I'm painting on wood. I don't want it too glossy because then you get such a glare. But this dries literally in minutes. So you don't have to wait like hours and hours, you know. So that your jute that you're going to be using or that I'm using. I bought this big roll. This, I don't know if this has a, a price on it. And this came from, does it say where I bought it on the running right? Nope. Um, but I like the big roll because I do 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 a lot of it. So this was easier just to have this and I just kind of pull it out as I go. So I'm doing fine, Audrey. How are you? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold this like this. I am going to get happy fingers on. Okay, these I call my happy fingers. <laughs> um, you can get them at Dollar Tree. You can get them at Hobby Lobby. Um, I think Walmart carries some too. I don't know. I just put them on a couple of my fingers because as we're holding this, you got to press down with it. And I have a tendency to use this finger too at times. <laughs> so where you start, now you can see I went up past like what would be halfway give or take it doesn't matter it is up to you where you want to you know have it start hello miss bath um hello diana hey margaret oh let me bring it bring in the camera these friends will be able to watch this live video unless you are that's what it huh okay hi diana diana i'll be on your live i swear to god i'll be on your live diana richardson is in tonight um she's wreaths by faith they are doing um, kind of a virtual craft um, show. 
if you if we call it that. Um, so go to her page, Wreaths by Faith, and she'll have a link. Click on the thing tonight, and she goes on, um, which will be seven o'clock our time. So I'm going to do this quick because we got to go there and support her tonight. And everything she sells, as well as others that are on there tonight, there are every half an hour. Everything is for sale. Since we can't do craft shows, might as well do that. Where's the beginning? All right. So I just painted up a little pass. If you want to leave it this way, you can. It doesn't matter. It is your choice. So then I'm going to decide where I want to start. Now I see some paint didn't get all the way there. So I definitely want to make sure I cover on that. Is my glue going on? Yeah. So I'm just going to start and I'm just going to draw a bead of glue. And I stick my jute on there. And I just tap. See, I use every finger but the ones with the thing on and if you get glue past that, I just wipe it with my finger or I'll push the rope onto it. But it doesn't matter. It's all good. It will dry and we can get it off later if we need to. So the biggest thing is starting the first line on this because on the first line, you got to go kind of straight, y'all. Come here. Let's pull some of this out because we're going to need a lot. So we're just going to take this and we're just going to go around. And we're going to use some happy fingers. This is where I just tap it as I go around. My fingers can hold it so they won't burn. Praise the Lord. Hey, Bila. Oh, yeah. And if you share her page tonight on Diana's Wreath, you have a chance of winning a $25 gift certificate from a vendor. I think it's a vendor of your choice, if I'm correct. So, and they'll announce that. I think on the next day because it's after the last vendor shows that um, evening and they're doing that every single day. So I do my homework. <sighs> All right, so we got the first one. It looks rickety here because we're starting the new line. I say rickety. I don't know what word would be the best to use. And I'm just putting beads of glue. And as I do it, I just kind of pull the string just gently enough. And then I don't want a gap, so I push the string down. Now you will get some gap. The string is not perfect as it is. I know, Vila, most of the time the reason why you haven't seen me is because I have my granddaughter. I had her all day again today. And that child wears you out. Wears you out. <laughs> um, today we did go shopping at Michael's. Because <laughs> um, I had to pick up some things for some other thing. Um, crafts and stuff that I'm doing. Yes, and please share this video too, you guys. You know that bless my page. I shouldn't say the word share. Gosh, Facebook gonna hate me now. Bring your friends along with you. <laughs> Hello, Cheryl. How are you? Hey, Maddie. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, girl, they are fun. So, you know, our, our little pool that we have is only 10 foot by 10 foot and about 30 inches deep. It's one of those big blow up round things that are, you know, Buddy was hot to get this year. And we happen to snag one, thank the Lord. I'll tell you what, that thing has been so cool. Hey, Glenda. So, of course, you know, her in there with her grandpa and me, there's not much room. But I did buy her a Norwal, Norwal, is that how you say it? Um, float. That looks like a noodle, but it's a Norwal. <laughs> so that thing was all over the pool tonight. <laughs> so, all right. So we just, this is the boring part. This is when you put on music in the background and you just sit here and you, or if you have a TV in your room, which I don't. Um, and you just kind of go around and around and around. She goes where she stops. Nobody knows. <laughs> oh, now the ones that I did, like these that I did as ornaments, what I had to do here is put a hole in it. Now I tried using a um, corn, ske uh, corn skewer. Hey, Linda. Not a corn skewer, but a skewer. Hey, Luz. Um, what do you call those? The skewer. It's a metal skewer <laughs> that you use for me to do shish kebabs and stuff. And that wouldn't go through. So I little. There we are. Sorry. That was my fault, you guys. That was my fault. 
my fault. That was my fault, not the broadcast. Hey, Paula. <sighs> okay, we're back. That was my fault. Some For whatever reason, these alarm clocks that keep going off on my phone now. I don't know why. All right. So there we go. Now, if you get glue strings on it, they come off really easy. If you get a wad of glue, like on your paint down here, you know what? It's best just to kind of leave it um, in a way because if you try to pick it off, you're going to put a hole in the paper mache and then you're going to be stuck. Now, these pieces of the um, from the rope and all, see, I should have one on this finger. What do I do with it? <laughs> um, but, uh, on the rope and all, you, you will pull off. If you get some glue string glue on the rope, um, we'll go back at the end and we can kind of pick it out and pull it off. Now, don't put too much glue too, because if you put a wad of glue in one spot, it's going to make it kind of a little bit bulky there. And when you're pushing this down, you won't want to roll. See, that's got that funky piece right there. I don't know what that is. There we go. And you don't want to roll your fabric, um, fabric, your jute, because then it's going to roll and you're going to have a piece of that glue sticking on the top. Does that make sense? So when you're pushing this down, push it down this way. Don't try to roll it. And there'll be a lot of glue. These are made out of paper mache, Paula. These are paper mache eggs. Okay, and then I painted it. I didn't like this color, so then I added a raw sienna on top. And then they can turn out to be giant acorns. Or if you find the smaller ones, you can make them. You don't have to make this into an ornament. This is for a customer, but you can make them into ornaments or just as like bowl throwers and stuff. Hi, Jan. What you making? Uh, has anyone heard from Paula? Mm -hmm. Ma'am, I do. Nope. <laughs> I have not heard anything about her. All right. So let's go here. Roll this down here. Oop. Lots of glue strings. And, oops, oops. And more glue, more glue. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Paula. Thank you. These are cute little things. And, you know, the thing of it, um, did I hear she passed away? Janet, I have no idea. I haven't heard anything. Um, but I'm, I'm sorry if she did. Hey, Peggy. Peggy, is there another tropical storm coming up the coastline? It's I thought it said Mid-Atlantic. It was just something that popped up on my my phone. I saw a, an alert thing about it, and I thought, good Lord, again, here we go. I know Miss Jan, Miss Jan Thompson, who's on here. She's the lucky winner who bought all of these little little ones here. She bought ten of them. She um, keeps up a little Christmas tree. I guess it's about four feet, and um, every month. We've been decorating it. So last year for Halloween, I think we did we did pumpkins. Um, Christmas, she kind of did a combination. I made some little gnomes for her. Little, I did little sock gnomes. This year we're gonna do. Oh, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm gonna say this. Mary Ingbert Ingelbert. Oh. Hello, Miss T. How are you? Oh, no problem, Sue Ann. This is just a cute little craft, you know, that people can do. And it comes out really cute when it's... Oh, see, I gotta use my happy fingers. Because then I'm going to have... I call them happy fingers. Cause my fingers are happy that they um, <laughs> don't get burned. So, see? That would have been a burn. And my happy finger saved me there. <laughs> All right. Miss Tanya won. Last time I did a um, ooh, happy mail to some people. And she was one of the ones that won. <laughs> um, she won. And 
everybody that won that time, I sent them each a roll of 10 inch mesh and a roll of ribbon. So hopefully everybody did reefs or something that they can do with it. Um, it was just luck of the draw. And I did it because one of my videos, combination of my videos at that time, reached over 10,000 views that I have on YouTube. So please go to YouTube. It is free to subscribe. Free. Everybody loves free. And go there and subscribe to my videos. We're doing a collaboration video um, with seven. Did you hear me? Seven the um, other crafty ladies and that's going to be on the 8th of August so I'll be posting that soon I forget a lot of you may forget between now <laughs> but we'll be starting at four o'clock in the afternoon and doing um, that and it'll run about every hour I'll give each um, person at least an hour depending what they're going to make and it will be something folly. Fall. You guys are gonna have to wait to see what I make. Ha ha. Hello, Lisa. How are you? All right, so this is called Round and Round She Goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. Hello, Miss Connie. Hey Tracy. See, Connie, this is a cool craft you can do in your groups. And this is good if you in your groups. If you can get enough that your groups or people in your groups, hey Tracy, that um they can get these. I gotta go because I bought all out of <laughs> Hobby Lobby for the eggs. So I gotta go um tramping around to another Hobby Lobby, to see if I can find more because I like it. Oh, I always say eighth of August, don't I? <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, Lisa. It's the 8th of September. Why do I have the 8th of August in my head? Good God, Carolyn. Hey, Janice. How are you? So, we're getting there. We're getting to the top. Now, it looks wonky at times, but the, um, the cord is wonky. It's not a perfect... You know, they're not perfect in circumference. Ooh, that's a big word, Carolyn. Circumference. All right, so we're going around. So Miss Cassidy helped me today. She painted the big acorn. <laughs> She's so funny. She likes to help. But I got to watch what she helps on. Because she know. Something just fell. Oh, well. I'm doing fine, Janice. Hello, Miss Candace, my Fort Belvoir friend. How are you? Yeah, my group on Fort Belvoir, unfortunately, we've been in hiatus because of this whole virus thing. <laughs> oh, my God, Tanya. <laughs> Uh, Connie, I don't have Amiibo, so I don't have an answer to that. I, I don't know. I don't have Amiibo. Love to get one. So if you don't want yours, I'll be more than happy to take it off her hands. Ha ha. <laughs> so we're just getting around and around. Getting dizzy as it gets closer. Who remembers those games? You spin the tops. Dizzy Dan was one of them. Whoops. Hot glue. Hot glue. And here we go. And Connie, I'm very proud of you that you did a grapevine last night. So proud of you. <laughs> Connie likes to do a lot of unique and the creep things, um, which are great. I love her angels. I'm an angel person. And um, she stepped out of her boundaries. <gasps> Randy, how are you? Where you been, lady? Ugh. All right, so we're getting there. And as it gets closer and closer, I'll put more and more glue on because the circle gets smaller and smaller. And you have more chance of burning your fingers at the same time. So you gotta be careful. 
I will show you in one second what the base is, Miss Lisa, um, since this is the little bit more of the tedious here. It was tough. <laughs> Connie, life is tough. Doing a craft is a piece of cake. All right, so I'm just going to smear the rest of this with hot glue and watch how fast I'm going to go to make those happy fingers really happy that they're coming to an end. Happy fingers. Just press it in there. Voila, and see, it finishes a nice little circle. Almost perfect, what can I say? So what these are made out of are paper mache. Now, um, before I go there, hold on. Now see, I got the, the glue strings come off really easy. Oops, let me take my happy fingers off. All right, so happy fingers come off. And then we just take, you can kind of see where the glue sticks out. It looks kind of white. It's hard for you guys to see on here, but you can kind of see like here's a glue string. And I tilt it like on its side a little bit so I can kind of see like over the top or on an angle. And then I find that was a big glue string. And I just go back and forth and I'll look. Now the best way probably to do this is if you take it outside and look at it, you'll see if it glistens in parts, then you know you got glue strings because the sun really shows off the glue strings, which could be a good thing when you're trying to take them off or a bad thing if you forget to take them off. All right, so one thing I do here is I'll look at where I started to make sure that this piece is in there kind of good. I'm pushing that glue up just a little bit. And make sure that this piece, if it flares up, see how that's flaring up like that? I don't know if you could see. It like pushes up a little bit. So what, oh, gotta get a happy finger on. Hold on. That one's too small. Yep, you can make these for reeds. I And I just put a little bit of glue out and I kind of, like I'm painting it, okay? And then I'll just take my finger and where I finished it, just kind of rub it down in there. And that's what I do to make sure that's in there. You can do these for wreaths. I did do two wreaths last year. Um, I thought I had, I thought I had another one this size. All right, we're gonna pretend all of these. Oh, somebody asked me. This is made out of a paper mache, okay? And then we painted it one color. I thought that was too dark, so I changed it up to a lighter color. They were all paper mache. Um, one thing I did last year. Um, I think I did it for two years, I think, um, is let's pretend these are all the same size. You can hang them from the top and do a um, grapevine wreath, hang it from the top and just put a bow on the bottom. Perfect. I did those um, and it really looks pretty. Um, just the acorns hanging like that. Um, God, I forgot I did that. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. I loved your candy corns. Oh, well, Paula, they're available, you know. <laughs> I can make more. Yeah, you can do these, like, for the wreaths. And if you want, like, a little stem, if you wanted to put a little stem on these, which, um, oh, I don't have my things up here. I switched rooms, and I realized I didn't have all my stuff up here. So you can take this, like this part. I won't be using this whole part, actually. Let me do it right now. Now, before you get to the top, you can do it. You can make your own stem. These are just little stems. Oh, I don't know if this is going to cut. Hold on. Let me get the big daddy out. Got to get the big daddy. You can use burlap and round it out, burlap. You can use, where'd it go? Um, you know, to make your stem, you can use a real one. And you can just take this and glue it in. Now this, because uh, I don't like the way this cut like that, I would rather have it where it's more, you know, um, secured. Does that make sense? The end is covered, that's the word. 
So if you wanted to put it in here so you have a little stem on it, you could do a little stem on it. You could leave them just plain. You know, it's really up to you how you want to do it. There's no right or wrong. You can use plastic. You can take a pipe cleaner like this. Oop, let me take my happy finger off. I would twist the pipe cleaner just a little bit just to make it a little bit thicker so to speak and you can do the same with a pipe cleaner I think I made this too long but you can use a pipe cleaner and stick it in there now if you wanted to again go ahead and you can put leaves on these as well so there's endless things that you can do to accessorize with this Um, Connie, if you use a plastic egg, the only thing I would fear is that putting all this hot glue on it, um, well, one would be painting it um, the color that you want. Two, um, the hot glue being put on it, I would be afraid it would just melt it away. Um, that would be my, my fear as far as that goes. But if you wanted to put a little thing on it like that and then put some little leaves on it, you can. Um, that actually would look cute. I don't have any leaves in my place, do I? I just folded that down a little and I could stick that right in there. Hold that, hold on. I should put happy fingers on because they're not gonna be happy in two seconds. Oops. Oh, look how cute, like a little beanie. Now these I would make probably bigger That too long that might be too long again twisting it and I cut it long so that I could go ahead and bring up the bottom to make it a little bit thicker on the bottom there so we can poke a hole poke a hole in there not really poking a hole but Put that baby right in there. Oh, look how cute. See, little stems. Where am I? I was looking down below. All right, so let's, if you want to add leaves, hold on. Oh, I got leaves right here because I opened the drawer earlier today. So I have some little leaves. I have all these little fall leaves. We can put some fall ones on there. Now there's different types of leaves that you can get. These are, oh, this is, I'm, I'm going to use the word polyester, okay? Um, that's the best way I can describe that from this one. I'm going to have one of them. Yeah, I do. Um, I also, no, nope, those are the other ones. These are actually felt. So if you wanted to use felt, and you can cut the stem off, but make sure you don't cut where the design is on it. You can use felt ones. Whoops. Look at that. They stapled the leaf right into the felt gun thing. Wow. Some people have the nerve. Now these are bigger. So these would be too big, actually. Are there any smaller ones in here? And you can you could do some small ones in there. I kind of like the smaller ones. Let's see. Here we go. I like this color. And we can put some leaves in there. And then you can actually put a little bow around this if you want. So there's endless things. Brian man just taunted me and asked me how. <laughs> what? I had a praying mantis taunting and stalking me half the day. <laughs> God, Tanya. Um, so you could put all the same color. Like if you want to do a set of three, put a bow because the bow will cover. You know, we'll cut off these stems and do something like that. I don't know. I'm going to decide if I like the bigger ones or if I like the smaller ones. Ooh, my fan's blowing everything. 
And look at this. This this kind of look at that. Can you see that leaf? Can you see all the dots going down the side? Like how am I supposed to use that? It's like seriously, people. Seriously? What happened to my camera? I still go in there, but something up my iPad. So it's like here's like a whole bag. All these yellow leaves. I can't use any of these. I got like three leaves. Two leaves out of the bunch. Like really? Really? Hey Stacy, how are you? There we go. Something went crazy on there. So you can do whatever you want. Oh gosh, look at all those leaves. I have to throw them away. Oh, goodness gracious, people. Ooh, we got gold ones too. Oh, look how pretty that would look. Just a touch of gold. Just a touch of gold. Let me swipe these comments out of the way. I shouldn't put my finger in front of the camera. My bad. So look how pretty the gold looks on there. You could do just one if you want to. Just tack it in just like that. And it has a little bit of orange on it. Oh, I like it with just one leaf. Look how cute that looks. Just one little leaf. I like the gold one. Ooh, hold on. Let's see what the orange looks like. I like the gold one. I don't know. It just, gold it is. I'm putting the gold one on. And these do not have any wire on them. Happy finger. Come here, happy finger. Look at that. Just one little leaf. Look at the difference that that makes. Isn't that cute? Do -do -do -do. Cute, cute, cute. Just one little leaf. I like the one little leaf. Gold it is. Oops. Hey, Jody. What is bringing the camera? Ugh. I like the gold little leaf. Is, I got a big glue string here. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right, let's put these big babies away and let's get some of those little ones out and see if I, oh, I hate rattling. To you, it sounds horrible on the phone. Usually what I do is um, I usually have baggies here. Oh, goodness, go over here. And we're not gonna use the felt one, that's for sure. Is that the one that flew on the floor probably? So let's decide on the, oh, here it is. Let's decide, because the gold ones are cute, but this one needs a smaller one. You could do green. I think maybe the orange on this one. And this way, when you put them in the bowl, oh, this one's cool. That one's too big. When you put them like in a bowl decorating, you can do it with each leaf being different. Um, and that makes it just fun. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? Hey, Sue. Oh, there we go. I like the gold leaf. So let's do a different color on this one. I think I like the orange. I don't like the green. I think the green is kind of boring. The yellow is okay. I like the, I like the orange. I don't know. I just like the orange on this one. I don't know why. Orange it is. Glue on. Happy finger. And I'm only putting it, you know, the glue close to here because I, I, I want this all just to kind of stand up. More glue strings. Let me move this thing out of the way. Ooh. So look how cute. And you can do a whole bowl. You can do some big ones in the bowl. You can do some little ones. And itty bitty ones, if you want. I'm trying to move it back so I can see. Where are we in the camera? So if you put them in a bowl, I'm just going to stick them this way so you can kind of see them all. And you just fill up the bowl. Hi, Diana. Diane, excuse me. I like the gold. I really do. I think it looks cool on it. And even though this is the same size as this, it just... I think the bigger leaves, like, I think that's a little bit bigger. See, I don't like a bigger leaf on it. I just like the little one. It's just enough, in my opinion. Oh, again, you can put three around there or two around there and put a bow on it if you want to. 
it's a piece of the string from the jute. Um, you can do it however you want. Doesn't matter. But cute little thing you can do. Sell a bunch of these as ornaments, or you can sell them as hi Diane. Um, take off. Don't put the ornament in there. The jute. Um, you know the hanger, and you can put these in the bowl too. That was my intention, and then um, I was talking to my friend Miss Jan, and she was like, "What can we do?" And I said, "You know, I can make these acorns into ornaments." And so I made these last night and finished them off today, and then kind of showing you the difference in transition on these earlier. So um, guys, go back and look at the video. You can kind of see a little bit of the steps that we did here on this and um, save it. Um, hit anywhere, like I said on the page, you see the word live. That means we're actually live live. Hit anywhere on the page and those three little buttons will pop up and that make sure you get notifications. Now I did not send out a notification because I was like, you know, let me just pop on because Cassidy left. I quickly took the dogs for a walk. I got glue sticking on me. Um, and I wanted to just pop on really quick to show you something that was really kind of cool um, to make. And it comes out, just look how cute that is. I just like them. I do. And you can make the, listen, you can make these jutes any color you want. Um, if you're doing something red, white, and blue, change it up. You know, if you want to do that. Um, it's whatever, whatever, whatever floats your boat. And this one I have to get teeny weeny side, teeny weeny leaves to go on that. But look how cute. All right, so there's some ideas for you. But these will be available, the big ones. I'll have these as a set of three in my shop. Um, I have to finish this so I can't list them today. But um, I will post the thing in Facebook in there for you. Um, if I can get more of these, it will be a set probably of 10 of these. Um, I can make them into ornaments or I may um, sell them with a set, like a, a big and some littles or something like that. So it just gives options, options, all right? So listen, I am going to get off because I'm going to support my friend Diana from Reads by Faith. She is going live. Guys, check it out. She's going live at 6 o'clock to 6.30. It's only half an hour, but um, it's a virtual craft show. So please go on and support all those crafters. I think she said, I don't know, it was like 50 crafters. And you can go back and look. I'm trying to get this up so you can see me without me going down like this. Okay. Um, through the crafters, um, they started it. See, so today, Friday, was it one, two, three, four? It's a four-day event. I think it started Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. Go on there. You can see the other crafters. They make beautiful hand-painted things, um, signs, all kinds of things. Go on and check it out. All right? So I will see you later, and thanks for coming to Nona's Nutty Crafts. <laughs>